Getting a refund on a holiday that has been paid for but unable to be taken due to the pandemic has been an ongoing saga for many. In February this year, I myself had to issue proceedings against a very well-known holiday booking company as after I moved a family holiday three times, the holiday company, even though they had agreed to give me a full cash refund, were giving me dates of three months plus to refund me for my holiday. I wanted to be as supportive of the company with whom I had booked with as possible, but my fear was, was that the company may not survive the harsh business struggles due to the pandemic and that my money would go up in smoke. Last week, the government announced countries that are now on the red list. So whilst many of us have rushed to rebook holidays for this year, and me included, how can you get a full refund from a holiday company quickly if the company is giving you a date too far ahead for your refund? I would suggest that you should do the following. First, send an urgent email or letter to the company outlining that you will wait three weeks from the date of your correspondence for a full cash refund. Second, give the company seven days from the date of your letter to respond to your request and state that you're going to give them seven days to respond. Third, state that you will be left with no choice but to issue an online money claim against the company in the event that they do not agree to give you a refund within that three week period and clearly outline what your date of issuing your claim will be. If the company refuse to refund you the money within an acceptable amount of time, or they simply are just not responding to your correspondence, then go to the gov.uk website and issue an online money claim for a refund for your holiday. To find out more about refunds on holidays and travel during the crisis, go over to our website at getlegallyspeaking.com and listen to the free and informative episode I have recorded with senior barrister Tim Sampson called Holidays and Travel Laws During the Crisis Part 1. To also find out about how to issue an online money claim, then please listen to our two fantastically informative episodes recorded with Her Majesty's Courts and Tribunal Service in which we explain the steps you should take called Online Civil Money Claims Part 1 and Part 2. I hope that you have found this information useful and to empower yourself with more legal knowledge, please follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook to get access to more jargon-free legal information.